Hello everyone, I'm Nidhi Johnny, Wireless LAN Technical Marketing Engineer and in this video we will see how to configure and monitor Air Group in AOS 10. We will briefly cover what Air Group is and why it is needed in an enterprise WLAN environment. We will go over the demo setup that we will be using including the detailed topology of the setup. Then we will see how to configure Air Group in HPE Aruba Networking Central for AOS 10. After configuring Air Group, we will cast a video from a smartphone to an Android TV, both which will be connected on different VLANs. We will also see how we can use Air Group to limit access to certain devices. Then we will see how we can monitor Air Group in HPE Aruba Networking Central. Air Group is a unique service that leverages zero configuration networking to facilitate the discovery and utilization of MDNS and SSTP protocols. Bonjour and Google Cast are two commonly used MDNS services. Bonjour is the zero configuration implementation by Apple. Bonjour uses MDNS advertisement packets to publish information about services offered by the devices on the local network. Devices look for available services using MDNS query packets. Since the addresses used by the protocol are link scope multicast addresses, each query or advertisement can only be forwarded on its respective VLAN but not across different VLANs. Another popular service is Google's Google Cast service, which is used for playing internet streamed audiovisual content on a compatible consumer device. Depending on the application used, devices either send SSTP packets or MDNS query packets to discover the devices that offer Google Cast service on the network. Devices that offer Google Cast service advertise it using MDNS advertisement packets. SSTP uses multicast and each query or advertisement can only be forwarded on its respective VLAN but not across different VLANs. By using Air Group, we can use various MDNS and SSTP services like AirPlay, AirPrint and Google Cast in enterprise networks even though they were primarily designed for home networks with single subnet. Air Group also makes it easier to manage and administer all the devices in the network making it easier for admins while also improving the overall experience for Wi-Fi users. Now let's take a look at our demo setup. So for the demo, we will have a very simple setup. We will have an access point connected to a switch which will be connected to a router. The router will be connected to the internet via ISP. All these devices will be able to reach the internet. Aruba Central will be managing all these devices. In this setup, we will have an Android TV or Google TV as it's called lately will be connected to the access point on VLAN 40 via SSID called TV screens. Then we will have an Android phone connected to the same access point on VLAN 30 via SSID called teachers. We will also have an iPad connect to the same SSID and will be on the same VLAN. We will cast a video from the phone to the TV using Google Cast. At the same time, we will see how we can use Air Group to not allow the iPad to cast video to the TV using Google Cast. The Air Group service in Aruba Central will be able to facilitate this. Here is the detailed topology of the setup that we will be using in this video. We are using AP505 which is connected to a 2930F switch. The switch is connected to Aruba Gateway 9004. The gateway acts as a router which has all the necessary VLAN interfaces and the DHCP server for these VLANs as well. Also, the gateway will be natting the traffic from these VLANs to the internet. The smartphone and the iPad will be on VLAN 30 which will have an IP in the 192.168.30 subnet. Similarly, the TV will be on VLAN 40 with an IP in the 192.168.40 subnet. So let's go ahead and see how we will be configuring Air Group in Aruba Central for AOS 10. Here you can see I have already added AP505. It is online. It is running firmware 10.5 and it is part of a group called AOS 10 APs. Next, you can see the switch. The 2930F switch is connected and it is online in Aruba Central. Next, you can see the Aruba 9004 gateway. It is also added to central. It is online. It is also running firmware 
and it is part of group 9004AOS10. This gateway is added to Central as a mobility gateway. Now let's look at the SSID configuration. Here is the configuration summary for the TV screen's SSID. This is the SSID where the TV will connect. It is a normal PSK SSID with WPA3 encryption and the VLAN assignment is 40. You can see the broadcast filter is set to none. This is the default setting when creating a new SSID in AOS 10 group. But as best practice, you may enable the broadcast filter as per your requirement. When AI group is enabled in AOS 10, regardless of the broadcast filter settings, all MDNS traffic will be redirected to the MDNS process on the AP, ensuring that AI group functions properly. And here is the configuration summary for the teacher's SSID. This is an MPSK SSID. The pre-shared keys are unique for the devices and each PSK will have a role assigned to it. So when a client connects using a specific PSK, it will get a role assigned to it. And the VLAN assignment for this SSID is 30. Now let's look at the roles we are using. So click on the security tab and expand roles. Here you can see the roles. The TV will be assigned the role of TV screens. We are using teacher's role and secondary teacher's role is the role we are using to limit the iPad access. This role is mapped to the pre-shared key used by the iPad. Here you can set up your local MPSK keys. Here are the keys I have configured. You can see here we are using two pre-shared keys. One is for iPad and the other is for phone. The iPad's key is mapped to role secondary teachers and the smartphone is mapped to role teachers. Now we will configure Air Group. So Air Group can be enabled and configured at global and group levels. Groups inherit the configuration from the global level, but any configuration at a specific group level will override the configuration inherited from the global level. In this video, I will enable Air Group at the global level. So select the global context and click on Applications. Select Air Group and then click on the config icon. So by default, Air Group will be disabled in Central. So you can toggle this button to enable Air Group. Now you can see here all the default services supported by Air Group. We will go ahead and enable the Google Cast service. So click on this pencil icon to edit the service and click on this toggle button to enable it. So the server expiration period is optional. I'm going to leave it blank. Here you can see that you have the option to either allow or deny service to specific user roles. If you specify any roles here, then only those roles will have access to Air Group service. I'm going to allow the role teachers and also TV screens for the TV. So only devices with these roles will have access to Google Cast service. And here you can specify VLANs, either allow it or disallow it. I'm going to leave it blank, which means all VLANs have access. Now you can see the Google Cast service is enabled for Air Group and the teacher's role is allowed. Also the TV screen's role is allowed. I'm also going to enable the dial service. This is used along with your streaming service for launching apps on the server from the client device. So I'll go ahead and enable that and allow it for teacher's role and also for the TV screen's role. All right. Now that's enabled, both the services are enabled. All right, now we did this globally. So now we can see that the AP group has inherited this configuration. Let's see the AP group. So go to AP group. Under applications, you can see the air group is enabled and you can see the dial service is enabled as well as the Google cast service. And you can see the roles uh, that has access to these services as well. And so that's it. So now we have enabled Air Group for Google Cast service. We have specified the roles as well so that only the phone will be able to cast the video. Now let's connect the iPad to the teacher's SSID. So let's look for the teacher's SSID and connect to it. 
type in the PSK that we had configured. All right, now it's connected. Now let's check the IP address it's got. So it's got 192.168.30.5. Now let's connect the phone. So go to Wi-Fi settings. Look for the teacher's SSID. Type in the PSK that we had configured for the phone. And it's connected. Now let's look at the IP address the phone has got. So it's got 192.168.30.2. All right, so the phone is now connected and so is the iPad. Now let's go ahead and connect the TV to the TV screens SSID. So let's look for the TV screens SSID. Type in the PSK for this SSID. And this TV is now connecting. All right, so the TV is now connected. Now let's uh, look at the IP address that the TV has got. So it's 192.168.40.2. All right, so now we have all the three devices connected. Now let's verify this from Aruba Central. So go to Global Context, click on Clients, and we can see all the clients connected here. So you can see all the three devices are connected. You can see their IP address. And you can also see the VLAN assignment for each device and the role that has been assigned to each device. Okay, now let's go ahead and cast a video from the phone to the TV. So let's open the YouTube app on the phone. Let's search for Airheads Broadcasting Channel and we'll play one of the videos from the channel. Okay, let's go to the video section and let's just play this video. Let's wait for the ad and we can skip it. All right, now the video is playing. Let's click on the cast icon and you can see the TV is listed here. Let's go ahead and click on it. And now you can see the phone is now trying to cast the video to the TV. It's trying to connect to the TV. And you can see the videos, the YouTube app has launched on the TV. And now uh, the video will soon start playing on the TV. You can see here the phone is added as a device on the TV. And yep, the video starts playing on the TV. Okay, now let's try to do the same thing from the iPad. So let's launch the YouTube app on the iPad and search for the Airheads broadcasting channel. We'll go ahead and play the same video. Let's wait for the ad and let's skip it. And now let's click on the cast icon. And you can see here the TV is not listed. You can see that the iPad is connected to the same SSID as the phone. And it is also on the same VLAN subnet as the phone. But it is not able to discover the TV to cast because under A group configuration, we have disallowed the role that it has been assigned. So we have configured Air Group in Aruba Central and we are able to cast video from a phone to a TV using Google Cast service. We have also seen how to configure Air Group to disallow the Google Cast service to certain devices. Now let's see how we can monitor Air Group services from Aruba Central. You can monitor Air Group services under a specific AP group or from global context. I'm going to view it from global context. So under global context, click on applications then select air group then click on summary from the right side so here you can view the summary of air group in central you can see the summary of services here we can see the dial and google cast service that we configured next you can see the air group clients these are the devices that are using the air group service you can view them by their os role or vlan and here you can see the air group servers on your network here also you can view them by the os role or vlan now click on list so here you can see a bunch of information like services servers clients and separate services
So services will show you all the services being advertised by the Air Group servers. Again, only services from allow servers will show up here. You can see the dial and Google Cache service is showing up here. You can see the server count for each service and their VLAN assignment and also their role assignment. Next, you can see all the Air Group servers on your network and their information like their MAC address, services that they are advertising, if it's a wired or a wireless server, you can see which AP they are connected to, their VLAN assignments and roles. Next, under clients, you can see all the Air Group users and their details. You can see a bunch of information like their MAC address, IP, VLAN assignment, role assignment, etc. Next, you can see the list of suppressed services. So all these services are suppressed by the Air Group. Now you can also see the list of available servers for each client. So go to clients list. Click on a client. So let's click on the phone. Go to application. Click on Air Group. So here you can see the Air Group servers available to the client. You can see the TV showing up as Air Group server for the phone. Similarly, you can check for other clients as well. So in this way, you can monitor the Air Group service in Aruba Central. You can see the list of Air Group servers, what services they are advertising and the list of Air Group users. I hope this video was helpful. Thank you for watching.